and I found more. Oh, the Pharaoh's tomb. Mm -hmm. Tomb of the unknown Pharaoh. Mm. Oh, 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 God. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> some of this stuff is really, <laughs> it's all lame. I mean, some of it's all lame. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Check this guy out. Yeah, he's ready for battle, isn't he? Look at that. Uh huh. If he is a dude. You can never tell with those Egyptians. <laughs> Most of them look like chicks to me. <laughs> uh, this is so freaking goofy. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what these hieroglyphics mean. I'm talking about my writing is hieroglyphics. <laughs> okay. Okay. Enough of this. Uh, I'm sick of this whole Egyptian theme. I'm done with it. <laughs> yeah. Put that away forever. What the hell did the Egyptians ever do? They built pyramids. They break inside, there's nothing in there but a bunch of old guys. <laughs> and then the last piece of artwork I found from my college years, yeah, I say artwork, was this piece of wonderful crap from uh, January of 83, that same art class I had, Professor Desergulus. She said, here's your final assignment. Go home and take these hallucinogenic drugs I'm going to give you and paint a color wheel. And don't forget to listen to a lot of Pink Floyd when you're doing it. Well, apparently I took her advice to heart. See? <laughs> I think I downed 27 quaaludes when I did this. Uh-huh. I'm so glad those college years are now done. <laughs> Jeez, God. Whatever. And you might ask yourself, what did he gain from all this work years later? Absolutely nothing. I'm gainfully unemployed. Wait a minute. That thing might still come in handy. I can hypnotize women with it. <laughs> You're under my spell, bitch. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Put me on your friends list. Now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this thing is as useless as the day I first painted it. And then about 98, I graduated to oil painting, you guys. Shit, I haven't taken this out for years. There's dust on this. Man. And this was a really important project. We had a, our assignment was, in this class we had, was to take uh, one of the photographs in the London Gallery. You know, a Victorian scene. And the assignment was to make your own oil representation of it. So I did that. Uh, yeah, it's an oil, which is a hell of a lot better than working with watercolors. It's still light. The color's still bright from after all those years. Yeah, this is um, 11 years ago. I must have done this one. It's, the colors are still pretty vivid. Oh, and you get the glare. I, that's okay. Yeah, I, that's all right. It's not a really big painting, so I'm still very proud of that. Yeah, the, the, the oil is still it's nice and smooth here, but it's kind of rough right here where the book is, and it's really rough down here. I don't touch that. There's dust all over the damn, <laughs> the damn frame's got dust on it. I'm such a clean housekeeper. And the strange thing about this, are you guys getting a glare? I'll hold it like this. Yeah, that's better. Um, and the strange thing behind this, the history behind this thing is that even the archival, my source material, the archives that I got this to do it from, the girl didn't have a name. She's totally lost in time. She's somebody from the Victorian age completely anonymous now. It's kind of a melancholy theme, really, to me. But in the same spirit, I didn't name my painting anything. It's just, well, I did give it a name. It's called <laughs> Woman Without a Name Reading a Book. How original is that? Okay. Which is kind of, uh, kind of, uh, anticlimactic after all the work I did. I put, like, about a month into this thing. Yeah. But, oh, she still doesn't have a name. Even after 120 years, Girl, you really need to take up speed reading. You are a very slow reader. <laughs> Hope you got a lot out of that book. <laughs> anyway, I'm sort of proud of this. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think, if I do say so myself. You know, what do you guys think, huh? There's another, another little project, project I'm working on. on. I'm calling her Venus, Venus One and a Half Arm. arm. And, and I just, I just finished, finished up this, this little beauty from last summer. summer. No one's ever painted this woman before. It's a completely original work of art. 
I've decided to call her Mona Bernstein.